Item number SCP-3135, Object Class Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. The entrance to the cavern containing SCP-3135-1 is to be sealed behind electric fencing and kept under guard by security personnel at all times. Any individuals attempting to gain access to SCP-3135-1 are to be apprehended, interviewed, and administered amnestics as appropriate. SCP-3135-2 is to be stored in a humanoid containment chamber located at Site-22 and fed intravenously in accordance with Nutritional Chart 3135-21. This containment chamber is to be kept under guard by two security personnel at all times. Any analysis of the equipment attached to SCP-3135-2 must be approved by a member of Level 3 personnel. All broadcasts of SCP-3135-2 are to be intercepted as soon as possible in accordance with Protocol Upsilon-29. Following interception, targeted anti-memes are to be displayed on affected programs to obscure memories of SCP-3135-3. Learning Computer Tower 22, NADAP, is to search online television communities for accounts of uninterrupted SCP-3135-3 broadcasts, and agents are to be displayed in the event of suspected exposure. Description SCP-3135 is the collective designation for several phenomena relating to the American science fiction television series Star Trek The Next Generation. SCP-3135-1 is a full-scale replica of the USS Enterprise. Note, a starship used by the protagonist of the series to travel through space at great speeds. NCC-1701-D, as depicted in Star Trek The Next Generation. Suspended in the air inside a large cavern beneath the Nevada desert, Although SCP-3135-1 does not appear able to move from its original position, it has been observed turning and rotating in place. Blasts of light have also been observed originating from SCP-3135-1, along with the launching of several projectiles. However, these attacks appear to be intangible and cause no actual damage to the surrounding cavern. Analysis of SCP-3135-1's interior has revealed the presence of approximately 1,000 humanoid organisms, the majority of whom resemble characters and extras from the original run of Star Trek The Next Generation. These organisms appear to behave consistently with the portrayal of the Enterprise's crew in the original run of the series, with the exception of never leaving SCP-3135-1. Analysis beyond this has proven difficult as to no method of physical entry into SCP-3135-1 has been discovered. SCP-3135-2 is, at the time of writing, a 47-year-old man named Harrison Granger, initially discovered inside an abandoned warehouse in Las Vegas, Nevada. SCP-3135-2 is comatose and completely unresponsive to stimuli. The only movement recorded from SCP-3135-2 during containment has been severe spasms and seizures which occur in conjunction with significant activity on part of SCP-3135-1 and the humanoid entities aboard it. This information is outdated. See Addendum 3135 for more information. SCP-3135-2 is connected via wiring to several large rectangular machines of unknown purpose, with the words of Property of Resthead Media Programming. Note, public record does not contain any evidence of this company's existence. However, confidential records suggest that they are a member of the American Anomalous Companies Association. Investigation is ongoing. Carved into them. The majority of these connections are through parts of the body, including the mouth, nose, 
the area underneath the fingernails, and the eye socket, which has been emptied presumably for ease of access. Once inside the body, these connections appear to proceed upwards and interface directly with the brain. Equipment for intravenous feeding was also present and attached to SCP-3152 upon initial discovery, suggesting that the parties responsible for its condition were taking effort to keep it alive relatively soon before it came into Foundation custody. According to public record, SCP-3152 was a prominent figure in the Star Trek fan community during the airing of Star Trek The Next Generation, writing a significant amount of fan fiction related to the show. Several months after the airing of The Next Generation's final episode, SCP-3152 went missing after attending a local convention, and after several years without contact or demands from potential kidnappers, was presumed dead. SCP-3152 and its current state was discovered in 1998 by several local children who were exploring the area. SCP-3153 is a phenomenon in which reruns of the episodes of Star Trek The Next Generation are spontaneously hijacked by broadcast of a show entitled Star Trek The Next Generation The Journey Continues. Framed as an official continuation of the original series, the source of these broadcasts are currently unknown. Analysis of the episode's aired suggests that the content is edited together footage of events occurring over the course of several weeks aboard SCP-3135-1. Despite the official accuracy of the characters and locations to the original Next Generation show, several notable deviations are present, including Each episode begins and ends with a title card reading Star Trek The Next Generation the journey continues, exclusive to Best Head Media Programming. The majority of the opening credits are absent, instead only listing Harrison Granger as the director of every episode. This information is outdated. See Addendum 3135-1 for more information. All episodes now take place completely aboard the USS Enterprise. No plot justification for this is given. There is a drastic increase in nudity, graphic violence, and profanity. The majority of said profanity can be attributed to the character of Data, who uses the word fuck a minimum of 10 times per episode. The character John Luc Picard's name is now John Luc Picard. Although the character Wesley Crusher is frequently referenced as being aboard the Enterprise by other characters, he never appears in person. Note, analysis of the organisms within SCP-3135-1 has not shown the presence of any resembling the character Wesley Crusher. Popular fan theories regarding the Star Trek universe are frequently confirmed, often in situations which have little to do with the theory in question. Plot elements center around people being trapped inside wars or otherwise restrained by them are frequent. The majority of episodes are now based around the character William Riker and his various sexual encounters. Neelix, a supporting character from Star Trek Voyager, is now present in the background of every episode. Neelix has no dialogue and is not acknowledged by any other characters. Addendum 3135-1 On March 24th, 2016, SCP-3135-2 suffered sudden cardiac arrest and expired despite the efforts of on-site medical personnel. Following this event, all broadcasts of SCP-3135-3 ceased for several weeks before resuming on April 30th, 2016, where SCP-3135-3 previously credited SCP-3135-2 as the director it now credits a woman named Alison McHale. Investigation to this matter has revealed that Alison McHale is a 22-year-old woman and a prominent figure in the Star Trek fan community 
who disappeared from her home in Salt Lake City, Utah, three days prior to SCP-31353 assuming broadcasts, efforts to locate her are ongoing.